What's happening YouTube? My name is Ryan and today on Tricro Studios I'm going to show you how to record a high gain amplifier in six easy steps. To make this video easier for you, go ahead and click on the individual steps if you need to skip ahead. So the first step is choosing your amplifier head. The second step is choosing your cabinet. The third step is choosing your guitar. The fourth step is choosing your microphone. The fifth step is speaker positions and distances. And the sixth and final step is layering and panning. So step one is choosing your amplifier. There are a lot of choices out there that you can go with when recording high gain amplifiers. Make sure to try some other than your own, even though you may be very comfortable with it and very familiar with it. So I'm going to do that by trying out some of the amps that you see behind me. choosing your cabinet. You don't always have to go for that big 412 when you have a 212 or even a single 12 inch speaker cabinet available to you. You have to remember there are a lot of records out there where single cabinets with only one 12 inch speaker are actually being used. Be sure to try out all of the speaker combinations that you have available to you and while you're at it listen to each individual speaker before you're recording to make sure that you're choosing the one good speaker out of the bunch. Remember there is one better speaker out of the bunch in all cabinets. Step three is choosing your guitar. Now you may or may not know this, but not every guitar in the world is the same. Different pickup combinations, electronic packages, and body types can make the world of a difference when you're recording. Be sure to try out any guitars that you have available to you, or any guitar that you may be able to rent or borrow from a friend or a local music store. Step four is choosing your microphone. Now, to some, microphones may be just an afterthought. However, they can make all of the difference in the world when it comes to recording your high gain amplifier. Three typical choices for microphones that you could run into in a studio would be, number one, a dynamic microphone, like the Shure SM57. <laughs> Number two, a large diaphragm condenser microphone like the AKG C414 XL2 that I have in my hand. And number three, a small diaphragm condenser microphone like the Mitech C5 I have in my hand. Step five is speaker positions and distances. One of the things that always blows guitar players' minds when they're first learning about recording guitar is when you're looking at a speaker and you place the microphone on, the way that you actually place the microphone on the speaker, like center on the cone, up 
off center. The edge. Or off axis. Can totally change the sound of what's picked up by the microphone. Also, another thing that changes the sound is the distance that you have the microphone away. A lot of guys will go right up to the speaker grill. Two inches off. Or what I generally like is two inches off to a foot off. Step six is layering and panning. When you're laying down guitar tracks, it's always wise to think of how it's gonna sound in the final mix. Is there only gonna be one single guitar track? Are you gonna double that? Are you gonna triple that? Are you going to use the same amp throughout? These are some of the things that you might want to consider when you're recording. Thanks guys for making it all the way to the end of this video with me. I hope that all this information was helpful, but I do want to let you guys go with a few considerations. When you're recording with a tube amp, do not forget to let your amp warm up for about 30 minutes to two hours before you begin recording. This will give you a better tone, a warmer sound. Another consideration that you might want to make is changing those strings. Changing your strings will actually prevent any dull sounds from coming through from old, old strings. I know I'm guilty of that quite often as I do have my custom 24 has strings on it that are about three years old. Um, I should be changing those soon. If you've got anything else here for us, uh, if there's anything you want any of the uh, viewers out here to know, put them in the comments there. If you have any questions, like always, put them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to TriCrow Studios. There's a whole bunch more videos like this and product reviews coming your way. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'm Ryan from TriCrow Studios.